Now, question number 20, if a sum of rupees 12,000 is lent at 5 percent per annum compounded uh, compound interest, what is the interest for third year? It is not what is the interest after 3 years, it says what is the interest for third year. Okay? So, for that what I will do is, I will go with both formula approach and uh, general understanding about uh, compound interest. The formula approach is this, that amount for 3 years minus amount for 2 years, you will be left with third year interest. That means, this one amount for 3 years minus amount for 2 years is equal to third year interest. Okay? Now, how do I get the amount for 3 years? So, we know that amount is equal to P into 1 plus r by 100 to the whole power n. So, here p is 12,000. So, 12,000 into 1 plus r by r is given here 5 percent. So, replace this by 5. So, 5 by 100 to the whole power n. First, I need to take the amount for 3 years. So, it is 3 minus amount for 2 years that is 12,000 into 1 plus r by 100 to the whole power 2, 2 years amount. So, when I get the difference, that difference will be third year interest. So, take this 12,000 into 1 plus r by 100, it is become uh, 1 plus r that is uh, 5 by 100 will become 1 plus 5 by 100 will be 100 plus 5 by 100 which is equal to 105 by 100 which is equal to 21 by 20. So, here I can take this number as 21 by 20 to the whole power 3 minus 12,000 into the same thing here 21 by 20 to the whole power 2. Now, take this number as common that is 12,000 into 21 by 100 to the whole power 2. Take this part as in common. So, 12,000 into 21 by 20 to the whole power 2. If you take common, what is left? So, here you left with 21 by 20 to the whole power 1, that is a 21 by 20 minus this part is 1. So, this is 1, it is a square bracket. So, when you take out solve this part, you will get this one as 21 by 20 minus 1, which is equal to 21 minus 20 by 20 which is equal to 1 by 20. So, I can directly take this as 1 by 20. Now, the result will be 12,000 into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 because power 2 is there into what is this result? This result is 1 by 20. So, take 1 by 20. By solving this, I get the interest of third year. So, cancel these zeros and with uh, 2 and 2, 4 with 4, 3 times. So, I get the product 21 into 21 that is 441. So, 441 into 3 divided by 2. What comes into 3? 3, 1, 3, 3, 4, 12 carry 1 and 12 and 1, 13. And uh, finally, 1, 3, 2, 3 by 2, this 2, which is equal to 2, uh, 6, 12 and again 2, 6, 12 and 1.5. This is your third year interest. Okay.
Now, sec second method is that is a uh, first year interest, second year interest and third year interest. First year interest will be 5 percent of 12,000. So, 10 uh, 12,560 that is 600. Second year interest on principal will also be 600. Third year on principal will also be 600. Okay. Now, first year there is no interest on interest. Coming to second year, the interest on the previous interest which is 600. So, 600 is 5 percent, 10 percent is 30, 5 per, uh, 10 percent is 60, 5 percent is 30. Now, what is third year interest? Third year interest is 600 plus the interest on this interest. How much is the interest here? 600 plus 600, 1200. So, 1230. This is a previous interest. So, I will take the 5 percent of this previous interest. So, 10 percent is uh, this part 123. So, 5 percent will be half of this that is 6, uh, 61.5. So, the total interest for third year is 600 plus 61.5 which is equal to 661.5. So, this is your third year interest. So, can you see here we got the same thing. So, the formula approach is a time taking a process, but to make you understand I uh, wrote it, but I request you to follow this method to answer whether it is a third year or fourth year interest.